Uh, yeah, that would be amazing, right? And we're live. <laughs> Did I actually make it saying the word without actually going live? I'll be happy. Anyways, hello, everybody. Welcome to Chapter 7 of Tales of Faerun. It seems this book is coming to a close soon. And thus... Um, Let's start off with doing our usual announcements. Rafiki, yeah, what do you got to say? Uh, we got a few. You know, the, there's the usual uh, affiliation announcement. First and foremost, we are Dice Affiliate with Die Hard Dice and the Home and Free List, Friendless Shopkeeper and Realm, where you can get quality polymer and metal dice and various dice accessories. So you can do exclamation mark dice and chat, which will give you a few things. One is uh, a link to a product of the month, which is actually ending today, I think. Uh, which is the Mythica Cell Skill, Mythica Relic Set. It's pretty, it's white and gold. It's, it's gonna, not going to pick up on cam because life, of course. Uh, but if you click the link, it's going to give it to you. And yeah, it's if you choose to purchase it, uh, part of that comes to the channel and help help us do cool stuff. Uh, but if you choose not to do that, what we recommend you to do is to use our referral uh, affiliate link or our discount code, which will get you 10% off your order. Uh, we also affiliated with Itport Press. If you do XMI Smart HPP and chat, uh, that will give you the link, our affiliate link. Um, so if you do choose to add uh, purchase things from them, uh, a bit of the revenue will come to us and I will help us do some awesome stuff and finally we are also affiliated with 1985 games maker of things like dungeon craft and the 2d terrains which are look like that there's some plastic yeah it's amazing for the gym on the go that needs to travel lightweight and um, yeah and they're currently uh, also doing a, a little kickstarter still 20 days to go so yeah, you can do exclamation mark 1985 in chat, which will get you two things. One is our affiliate link with them, and one is our discount code GRC10. Once again, because I like to keep things simple, you get 10% off your order. And if you choose to buy their Kickstarter, you can do exclamation mark VHS in chat. And yeah, there's 20 days left. Those are really pretty risen edge, uh, sharp edge risen VHS inspired dice and um, they're really pretty i'm super excited about that Kickstarter. it's already funded but hey if you want to get in on that use that link and that's it for me okay so unfortunately uh juice isn't with us tonight so uh anyways i am kitty your lovely storyteller who is slightly tired today um yeah and so uh kelly you're up <laughs> why don't you introduce yourself i was not prepared um none I of am, us are <laughs> i am kelly um i play uh my pronouns are she her i play sunny uh whose pronouns are also she her your resident Honey bun loving barbarian. And I'm starting to notice a theme between many of my characters, and that is that they have an inordinate love of pastries. And I cannot uh, imagine why that is. Because pastries are delicious. Yeah. Food is great. Mm -hmm. Okay, next up is Rafiki. Hi, I'm Rafiki. I'm the co founder of this channel. And tonight, and for the remaining of this campaign, hopefully, unless I die tonight. I am playing Atos, the Leonid Paladin, who is also legally to record a cover. Okay, next up is Fair. Hi, I'm Fair. Tonight I'll be playing Nouvelle Dustain, uh, your arcane trickster rogue, who absolutely uses Athos's uh, thick quad as a hiding spot. Okay, next up is uh, Rafki. Oh, oh. <laughs> Trieste. Works. That works for me. Hi, I'm Trieste. I use she, her pronouns, and I will be playing Rostri, the human cleric tag-along, I feel like. Um, 
and yeah, they use any pronouns they don't care. Uh, and that's me. Okay, and last but not least, Witchy. Hi, I'm Witchy. I go by she, her pronouns, and I play Janella, who also goes by she, her pronouns, uh, who's a warlock with a lot of trauma. But all warlocks do, I feel like, so it works out. That's true. So your average warlock is what I'm hearing. Yeah, super average, um, except for height. Uh, she's short as shit. This is true. You should have been there our zero session. Janela trying to get up on a horse. That was I, comical. It was, that was great. So, anyways, uh, one thing that I kept forgetting to say past few sessions is this is a game that you all can try to influence the game in different ways. Either give the players uh, better chances in certain things, cause certain events, like possibly a really interesting positive or maybe a negative. I don't know. Dice decide which way things go. Uh, so you can do bits, you can do um, gifted subs, uh, just message one of our uh, lovely mods and they will shoot me a message and say, hey, so-and-so wants positive, mm -hmm. blah, blah, blah. There's quite a few. Anyways, um, also, oh, yes. yeah. Uh, as an added bonus, which we don't have on there, is that if you were to donate, that also counts towards causing um, certain things to happen in game to influence and all that. Yay. Anyways, uh, so I think that's all of that. So let's get back into the game at hand. So last week was a very heavy, I would say backstory laden game, which we got reveals, interesting insights into people's backgrounds and finally made it to the city of Damarel, the shining metropolis of the alchemists. Oddly enough, right now it seems that everything is something that you don't usually see in a city. And so we've made it to the inn, the Honeypot Inn, in which um, our dear Sunny's family runs. And we got to witness a giant, a large, well, I would say he's a large sized uh, werebear coming full force to give Sunny a well needed bear hug. And so that is where we continue tonight's session. So, I mean, I guess when um, Sunny is approached and, and gets hugged, you would hear her like squeaking out the words, you know, hepatitis. Can't breathe. Uh, uh, sorry. And you watch as he is, his form shifts back into that of his um, that human form. Did that man just change to a bear? I and Sunny so. is like touching her back and she's like, oh. That's so cool. Oh, that's so much better. Thank you so much. I I've mean, always been so cranky. Well, you and, had that look and, on your face, so. I as well. You saw, I've been sleeping in a wagon for three days. And before that, I was sleeping in a cave for, I don't know. How long I, was here. I don't want to ask. Um, I have to go back to dealing with some customers. So. Uh, can they all just? Can you just tell mom? You know, take care of them. Oh yeah. Um, and you watch as he nods. He kind of uh, jogs over to the bar, and you just see. Um, I would say Sunny's mom kind of raises a well-crafted eyebrow, looks over at the group, nods. Sunny looks suspiciously like a kid that's making sure to be on their best behavior. And just at that moment, you, you see her starting to get her focus on you. And all of a sudden, her head snaps over. And you see her kind of get a little bit more... It almost appears that her form gets a little bit bigger. Her eyes kind of start to glow a little bit, and you hear her going, You wolves! Would you not do that again? 
or I'm going, no, you know what? I'm going to just say this, you know, that wolf that you were trying to look for. Well, I just heard that down South. They heard, have seen actually a lone wolf running around. That might be the kid you're looking for. And you guys look over towards the group of men who are just about to punch each other, kind of stop, look at her, eyes go wide, and you can notice that their eyes almost look lupin with this like bright golden look, and you watch as their eyes revert back into their human form. And immediately they look at each other, grab their stuff, and bolt out of there. And she kind of turns her to look back at you guys as you guys are starting to approach the bar. Is it is it rude to ask somebody how they can change it to a bear? I am. Um, uh, I, I, I think I, it is. Um, oh. I think Unless so. it comes up like, I, I would like to know. I, but I think it's something you let them talk. What? What? Like? Okay. I think it's one of those things. Sunny has walked over to like a not getting answers. Sunny has walked over to like a table in the corner and she's like, well, what are you guys waiting for? Introductions? They're busy. Okay. Well, that makes sense. Seat. They'll be here in a minute. So okay. your family, I'm assuming. Mm -hmm. interesting. And what's interesting is you see that Sunny actually takes you to a table that's kind of in the corner and you notice there's a few other empty tables even though everywhere else everything is piled you see some people trying to look see if there's open tables and you realize that these are probably meant for family and friends of the uh um, the chef snug yeah mm -hmm. pretty much chef, chef table and so oddly enough it's really kind of quiet where you guys are currently And so after a few minutes, um, her mother comes up and you can really actually see that she is, oddly enough, she has a ax at the, her side and she walks up and goes, oh That's dear. That's probably the least odd thing yeah. <laughs> about, yeah. about everything so far. <laughs> I respect that. Nice ax. So sunny. Hi, oh, mom. Thank you. And are you doing okay? Oh, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm absolutely I'm 100% fine. I, ab I absolutely haven't been getting in any fights. Hmm? Yeah, oh. I know that look. I know you've been in fights. I've been really good. Mm -hmm. So, who are your friends? Mm -hmm. I heard that they were wondering how your cousin was able to shift into a wear bear. I just you think know. it's really cool. I've never seen I, anything I, like that I before. I mean, I... It, this is Nouvelle. Hello. Totally not a princess. The mm -hmm. fox is Eden. That is Ocasio. Mm. That is he's sleeping. I'm sorry. No, oh, yeah, I've seen. I run a bar. You forget I've seen yeah, so many yeah. people. Sleeping. There was a warm patch of sun yeah. in the wagon. Um, it's just, he just yeah. fell asleep. <laughs> yeah, he just, he just he just fell asleep. Um, this is Ross Tree. This you. is Janella. And Hi there. This is Athos, and he's very big. Hmm. He's bigger than me. See. He's almost as big as your uncle in his wear form. Yeah, that would be fun to see. Oh, geez. Anyway, can we have food? Yes. Um. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want? Laugh at me. <laughs> and Sunny he just... speaks what we're all thinking. Yeah, you can tell that. Is not that like Nubel's um... thinking. Nubel's like, how do I become a werebear? <laughs> <laughs> if I become oh, yeah, a werebear, so I, I could I do so much other stuff. I didn't actually introduce my my mom to everybody. I think I just said, you know, all of y'all's names. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah. This is my mom. Her name is Gretchen. Nice to meet you. No, everybody calls me Goldie. It's true, they do. Oh my god. It's basically oh, it's... because of my hair. It's nice yeah, to I meet swear. you. Nice to meet you all as well. You've been making sure she hasn't been getting into any trouble? 
Oh and, yeah, and def- Sunny is def- doing the the very big, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, definitely. Yeah, no, of course, no way, no trouble, I mean, none at all. Getting herself into trouble. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Then no, she hasn't done. No, that. no, no, no. But sometimes, you know, when you're out on the road, trouble just kind of finds you. Um. But yeah, she's. I mean, yeah, she's great. She shared even she shared her honey buns with us. She's been a fantastic mm-hmm. traveling companion. I share. Is that that she, point she's that saying she actually like she's expecting a gold star, like a kindergartner yeah. expecting a gold star. And she actually I shared. Does look kind of shocked like are you shitting me? She actually shared. Uh, she's um, just basically pointing at Atos like what he said. I actually really like them. Stay with them, dear. And she kind of pats your head. Okay. Okay. I'll get you oh, guys. Oh, is there space food. because we don't have any place to stay? Hmm. Well, we just did remodel the back while you were gone. Added a few more rooms because, you know, I started getting sick of family coming in and leaving and having no room for our customers and all that. Hmm. So, yes, we do have room. Okay. So, uh, let me go tell your uncle that you're here. He'll make your favorite, like usual. Is there any preferences your party has, anything like that? I don't know. What do you all want? Do you want alcoholic beverages, non-alcoholic beverages, pastries, no pastries? Do you want porridge? We do a really good porridge here. No, it's true. Oh. I'm sure I could try porridge. I am typically do prefer an what alcoholic are you... drink. It's usually what safer than water. What are you having, Sunny? I'm having honey bun and porridge and mead. Mm-hmm. That sounds okay. good to me. Yep. Okay. The porridge doesn't have like meat in it or anything, right? Oh no. Okay. Uh, that means that Ohatio can have some too. <laughs> I mean, we do have a interesting meat porridge, but it's you say meat? more like a stew. I told yeah, you I was gonna no. say, is that this just is... stew? It's, yes, it's like it, oh, it's no. it's hard to say. Uh, if you've never had any alchemist um, type foods, lots of experimentation. Oh yes, doesn't always work. Oh, I have to say that you have to try your uncle's new um, what he calls gelatinous cubes. Oh, they are absolutely delicious. I'll bring are they some. They're trying out to give you. us Jello shots. <laughs> they are, yeah. <laughs> oh, you'll see. You'll see when it comes out. So she nods to you and she goes back behind the bar and you can see that she opens uh, from where you guys are. She opens and speaks to someone behind, kind of puts her head down and goes, oh God, this is not going to be good. And then goes back to dealing with stuff behind the bar, getting drinks, uh, making drinks. And one thing you guys kind of notice is some of the drinks that she creates, you've never seen before. Um, they're in clear mugs. Uh, there's one that really catches your eye. At first, she pours in what looks to be mead, but then she puts in something else that makes it actually begin to swirl and sparkle and continue to have like this little tiny tornado within it. And it begins to bubble. And oddly enough, people are like really like excited to get this drink. And you're not, and you're like, huh, that's weird. Sunny, you've seen this all the time. You're, you're totally fine with it. I'm pretty sure, Nouvelle, that they all get born that way, but I can ask if they if you want them to like try biting you or something. Um, yeah, I mean, I just if it's something I've never seen before, and mm. I didn't know that kind of magic existed, and I don't know, I just feel like if I was a were bear, a lot of my problems would be solved. Like I could absolutely um in real life and in the game, honestly. Let's yeah, that's you know, I, I mean, you know, I could just maybe absolutely just, you know, wreck uh, some people who might be after me. I was a werebear. Well, I could also wreck people that are after you. Yeah. I mean, that's true, but it would be nice to also be able to do that myself. It's kind but of my whole jump description friends? here. Uh, friends are supposed I, to help. I've been told. I don't keep friends for very long and I'm trying to figure out why, so I'm trying to be nice to all of you. Mm -hmm. Your family seems to be very lovely. Mm -hmm. Oh, my family is. My family is fantastic. 
Just <laughs> look in the distance. Are, are we getting a bunch <laughs> of weird looks in the tavern at all? No, nope, no weird. No, looks at it's all. this is a pretty cosmopolitan mixed city. Mm-hmm. Like everybody kind of lives with everybody, and everybody's married to everybody, and nobody really cares. Mm-hmm. So this is a uh, yeah. yeah. It's pretty nice I mean, here. I like washed up here and nobody like said a word. They're just like, oh, there's this giant person and it worked. Does that mean that uh, your mom is adopted? Are you adopted? Oh my God. And she just yells, mom, am I adopted across the, uh... oh my God. (laughs) She absolutely knows that she's adopted, but she's going to turn it into a thing. <laughs> Rashi is panicked. She's like, I, 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 uh, uh, what? I feel like everybody at the table just like looks at Rashi like, there she go again. <laughs> I mean, honestly, I told him just amused by that. What? And you, you just see Goldie kind of look back and go, you know you're adopted, and I love you either way. Okay. Yeah, I know when I was adopted since I was like a kid. It's okay. That was really mean. Um, but funny. Yeah, you, you gotta admit it was a little funny. It was funny. I think as this is happening, I like, I assume at some point I'd stuffed Eden back into the bag. So I take her out of the bag and just set her down and like don't make eye contact with her. <laughs> She's not making eye contact with you. She's kind of pissed I off or- that she got. I order her the meat slurry, <laughs> the meat porridge. <laughs> oh, you are. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> so, where is that note? Damn it. Anyways, um, so as time goes by, you guys, uh, Goldie comes over with your drinks and different um, mugs. And for um, Sunny, she gives a special mug. That has the, um, what is the word I'm thinking of? Handle. There it is. As like this little delicately, uh, delicately, I cannot speak to Delicately. Today. Thank you. Uh, carved bear going down. And you can see that on the bottom of it, around the edges, is kind of like this interesting, intricate carved um, forest scene. And it's all made of glass. Can I say something so stupid? <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> the only thing, I, this is out of character. The only thing I could think of when you were trying to, you know, describe that mug was the limited edition Batman mugs from McDonald's. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And if you don't know, and you like make Batman that. returns and everything. Yeah, and yeah. Then you basically described it like that, but with bears. Yeah. What? Yeah. That was a yeah, thing. There, I feel too was... young. Oh, they yeah, had ones for Mr. Freeze. Yep. Um, mm-hmm. I used to have Penguin. Some. Oh, God. Yeah. Mr. Freeze. I'm sorry. That was actually one of my favorites. For I'm going to have to dig know. up. I have a picture of me at, like nine years old in my Batman roller skates fair. I'm going to have to like. Dig oh, my it God. Amazing. Oh, my God. Yes. I'm so sorry. I just derailed this, but that was like literally the only thing I could focus on. <laughs> it was like fucking Batman mug. I mean, this is D&D. This is any tabletop game, you will have these moments. If we didn't, this wouldn't be a real game. You co- you can quote me on that. So anyways, um, so as time goes by, you actually see um, this man with uh, almost a similar color as Goldie's hair. Kind of spiky, kind of crew cut. Uh, he is quite muscular coming out of the um, kitchen carrying multiple trays of food on his um, almost like on his shoulders, kind of making sure that things are balanced. And he comes uh, sauntering over, and you can tell that he's almost as tall as Atos. Uh, his mm. kin- skin is kind of bronzed, like he's taken a lot of time in the sun. And he kind of comes over and goes, oh, okay, let's see. And he kind of puts uh, one tray onto the other table, and he goes, okay, this is for you, this is for you, and he starts passing out everything. And what's interesting is when you see uh, the porridge that is given over to um, Eden, it looks strange because it looks like the texture of porridge, but 
oddly enough, it kind of seems to have kind of fog coming out of it, kind of smoking a little bit, unlike what you usually see with like hot food. And like the texture does look like porridge, but its coloration kind of gives you that idea of meat stew and it's kind of like off putting at first. But then as time goes on, you start to get this really rich, meaty stew smell and you're like, what the hell? You, none of you have ever seen this type of cooking before, except for Sunny. She basically grew up around this area. Um, and then finally, after getting all the main meals, uh, he comes out from the other tray, uh, little tiny plates of what looks to be, for those who have seen what a gelatinous cube looks like, little gelatinous cubes with uh, what appears to be chocolate swords stuck in them and little tiny chocolate um uh skulls and bones within them and he's like eat those after you go you know that's a bit keep morbid shape. right yes but it's it's i mean we're adventurers we could go out and get eaten by one of those yes that's why you eat them first do you know how fast these are selling sonny they look really how yummy much al- how, how much alcohol did you put in them and i can guess are they within reach? I'm just going to try one. Ross, yeah. Just gonna try and one. what's interesting is the color is at the bottom. You have this like kind of like rich honey color. And then it kind of shifts to this um, light green. And when you first taste it, you get this burst of honey. And then it shifts over to this kind of lime citrus flavor. And then you get that chocolate hit at the very end that just seems to melt on your tongue. And you're just like... What is this? Because it's literally made in such a way where you get that first flavor, then it shifts and molds into the next flavor, and then you get that final bittersweet taste of the chocolate that leaves your... This is your... amazing. See? Uh, for yours, I gave you the um, special whiskey one. And trust me, those are limited edition. I only oh, make about they're so yummy. 10 of those. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Anything else I can get you? I think we're good. He's kind of looking at all of you. No, thank you. I think I think this is good. Thank you. Oh, uh, um, can I can, can I have like a tea with some honey in it? Yeah, I have a feeling yeah. the honey is really good. It's one of our main staples here. Um, hmm. actually, I'll see if I can get Sunny's other uncle to um. Pull out his specialty. Since you oh. have friends. You would, I would thank you. And um, one thing you guys do notice is as he's walking back, you see this um, man coming down from the stairs. Um, he kind of has longer hair tied into a bun in the back. And uh, he kind of looks over, looks over to Sunny, waves, walks over to um, Sunny's husband, not husband, uncle. I'm sorry, I'm tired. English is not working with me. And he walks over, kisses um, Sunny's uncle on the cheek, and then goes behind the bar to help um, Goldie out. If one of you want the sweet thing that was served to me, you can have it. I cannot taste sweet I take it immediately. Oh, Tim. I think we have a little... Uh, he left about 12 of them on the table. Yeah. So there's yeah. enough for everybody. Yeah, I told us cannot taste any sweet things, so. Because but, cats can. Like. Oh, there's, like, so there's 12 Sunny's on the. There's... sad because her other uncle just walked away and didn't say hi to her. She's just like. <laughs> She's just gonna look sad. Sunny, are you mm-hmm. okay? Well, he just left. I haven't. That's fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Do you want me to go get him? Everybody eat your food. Okay. And you said there's there's twelve of those skeletons. Uh, Uh, there's eleven now since uh, eleven. Well, okay. So there's like six of us. Um, I take Athos's two and also my two. (laughs) (laughs) I mean, mean, you've been traveling with me. You know, I don't eat sweet just because I not able to taste them mm. so well wait so did he do you mean the honey bun or do you mean your gelatinous cube the gelatinous cube 
So I'm gonna like steal Otto's honey bun off of his when he's looking at the cubes. I like, send Eden to bite your hand. <laughs> I'm she joking. does not. I'm joking anyway. Mm -hmm. She just Eden would look at you and go, "What? No." Um. What's interesting as you guys are talking and sharing food, um, Sunny, you finally you feel two hands on your shoulders and goes. You know, dear, I did say hi. You forget we do have good hearing. Didn't. Yes, well. Didn't. I wanted to make sure I got you your gift that I got since I missed your birthday three weeks ago. And you watch as he uh, puts a uh, box in front of you. And behind him, he goes and grabs uh, some mugs of tea. And he gives each of you a mug. It was your birthday? Thank you. Yes. Mm -hmm. Happy birthday. Thank Happy you. birthday. Well, it was three weeks now. Yeah, so she, three weeks she kind ago. of opens the corner of the box and like wants to make sure it's not going to explode as if this is things that has happened before. Fucking no, Looney Tunes bullshit. Explode. <laughs> it's a glitter bomb. So she, takes the, she takes the lid off the box and, and you know, looks inside. And what you see is this intricately um, woven, almost like a keychain is the best way I can say it. Mm -hmm. And he kind of looks, now, give me your hand real fast. And he takes your hand. Now, this is going to hurt a little bit, but this is how the spell works. And he kind of takes a little needle, pokes your finger, wow. places it on uh, the keychain. It's kind of like a Celtic knot looking. And it has the colors of the inn itself. Of the golds, the yellows, the um, rich verdant green. And you watch as the um, Celtic knot flares with magic for a second after it uh, takes a little bit of your blood in. Now, this, because I know one of the problems with your bag is other people can get into it. When you attach this to it, only you can open it. Hmm. She she's very excited. That would be her bag just for the buns, everybody. Mm -hmm. just so the, you warm, know, so. the bag of warming, the aka bag of warming. the bag of buns. <laughs> so now now nobody can get into my buns, as it were. Mm -hmm. Unless somebody <laughs> destroys it, but yes, it also locks it. So if somebody tries to flip it over, everything stays inside. Oh, good. To them, it's just a bag. To you, it's literally a bag of warming. It's joy. And you watch as he quickly um, connects it, and you watch as the threads actually kind of sink into the bag itself. Ooh. So anyways, I got to go help. Um, this is Uncle Aaron, right? This is yes, this Aaron. is Uncle okay, this is, yes. this is Aaron. She, she would introduce him. Um, uncle Aaron mm -hmm. is married to my uncle Barlow. I see. Mm -hmm. Titus is their kid. Yes. Oh, that was Do you know how everybody months. became a werebear? Because uh, my friend wants to be a werebear. Well, they were born with it. I had to go through a ritual and mm. when I married your uncle. And let's just say that... We see you new Bell's to... eyes light up at the idea of a yeah. ritual to turn her into a werebear. It's like I light um, up and then Athos is next to me like absolutely fucking not. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, job, in order you know? for me, yeah, in order for me to actually become a werebear, um, it's kind of like one of the rules with um, the goddess of the moon. You have to actually love true and, well, uh, love for each other, met her criteria. So. Are we supposed to, do I have to marry her to make her a werebear? I'm not a werebear. You might be odd. I mean... You're just strange, but that's why we love you. We're all strange here. Anyways. There's just like a blank look on Sunny's hmm. face. I mean, you could be. I mean, some werebears are late bloomers. I mean, I wasn't born one, but. Anyways, okay. is there anything else I can get you all? By the no, way, I don't that's these fine. I anybody. think we're going to discuss some very problematic party dynamics here in a minute over food. Sunny, your family makes me kind of homesick. I really like them. 
Thank you. Yeah, thank you. And she Did whispers your... very loud. Well, for her, it's a whisper. She's just not good at it. She whispers mm -hmm. to her uncle that Nouvelle <clears throat> is fighting with her fox. Um, uh, he, he easily hears it because you know werebears and a lot of wares actually have heightened hearing and smell. And you just- Oh shoot, would they be able to smell that Eden's not really a fox? Yeah, he does. Oh boy. He Can I hear this? My passive perception is 14. <laughs> Do I hear this? I mean, Sonny's not quiet, but- Yeah, they're not quiet and he's kind of looking at Eden going, Oh shit. She's not a fox, is she? Um I just smile big. I have no <laughs> I mean she That's has the porridge smell of fox, really but... good. Can you like I if I remember correctly and please correct me if I'm wrong, we mm -hmm. found out last session that Eden is Yeah. Who yes, else? that's okay. Her older sister, so, yes. So I'm just like, do you think maybe like you could do your and fix the fox? <clears throat> that is not my lack of a better term, cup of tea when it comes to the magical arts. Do you know somebody who could? I mean, there's a few. Though there's one that I would think is what exactly happened to you, dear? And she, he's kind of like looking right at Eden, and you watch as like, oh, wait, let me just try something. And you watch as he casts something on himself, and you just hear bear-like grunts. Oddly enough, um, Sunny, you can actually understand what he's saying. A bit around it enough. Mm -hmm. Basically, it's like bear speech. It's like, yeah, I grew up around this. That and that happened to you. <laughs> yeah, and all, all of a sudden, you just see Eden kind of look back, look at um, Novelle and look at Sunny and then look back and you kind of see her go forward and you see a conversation between the two of them. And at one point you actually do see Eden kind of look back, realize something, and then kind of get a little worried look on her face, but she kind of like wipes it off immediately. Uh, you all kind of see this because this is kind of like an interesting exchange. And then he's like, Okay, um, uh, no, he wouldn't be able to help. Uh, maybe, no. I mean, Yura might be the only one I can think of. But she's been bitchy this last week. <clears throat> um, what do you mean I by mean, bitchy? Uh, let's just say when you discover something or make a breakthrough other people start coming at you thinking hey can you fix my problem and something that isn't a part of her repertoire as it were and lately she's been inundated with people suggesting hey go to her she's amazing and it's like and you're about uh, to suggest to us that we go to her because she's amazing at this and so, you know well, it's more along the lines, this is something of a repertoire. But at the same time, I'll probably have to talk to him myself. I mean, I don't think we're in a rush. Mm, I need to talk to her. Um, it's, ha it's a, a bit a tad rush, but it, it's a okay. Days? Uh, one day? Yeah, one, yeah, one day I think we should be okay. And you're just watching Aaron kind of look at all of you and it's like, okay, I have to ask this. Is what you guys are talking about or needing to talk about something that needs to be kept secret between uh, you all? Yes, please. Yeah, that'd that be great. Be preferable, yes. yes. Oh, do okay. the thing, do the thing, um, do the thing, do the thing. Thing. Okay. Okay. Make it so nobody can hear us. I was just going to suggest going into the um, house oh, in our own so. kitchen. Which is a reasonable, easy solution. Mm -hmm. But you do, you know what, just to make you happy. And you watch as he quickly just flicks his hands and you watch as where, um, almost where the line is that blocks this area off. 
Okay, nobody can hear us talking in here, but I would make sure your heads are turned towards the wall, possibly Lip when readers. talking. Mm -hmm. Just so, yeah. Okay. Anyways, I better get Bye. back. <clears throat> Love you, dear. And he watches you. you just turns on his heel and walks back. Now we can argue and nobody can hear us yell at each other. What okay, would we do that? <laughs> what are we arguing about? I don't know. I thought that's why we made it quiet. Um, um I mean it it, it hmm. does help though. Yeah, it does, but so I I don't do we have something that we need to argue about? I mean I, don't know. I guess I've been sleeping for most of the time. <laughs> like what to do first, I think. Because we got, like, two, like, or three, at least to me, like, main things we got to do, right? Like, one, we got to find, go talk to the alchemist lady person. And, then, like, the other thing is to try to find where the fuck chess is. I think, and I hate saying this, but I think the chess thing might be more important. Uh, Janelle, I, can I have you roll me a d20, please? Yeah, yeah, I could, throw, I could do that. Um. Oh, wow, good roll, uh, 19. Okay. You feel something oh. off, but then it goes away and everything seems to go back to normal. I, I think we'd be okay if we went and talked to the lady first. I just a small I mean it's story. your patron or whatever, yeah. so but I just it I mean last time we talked about it it sounded pretty urgent. Is it weird that I just got a feeling that e e they're okay for now? <laughs> no, I don't know how that stuff works. Honestly, me neither. Yeah. But like um he <laughs> I think I'd start feeling shitty if something was going down, so I think we'd be okay. And also, I feel kind of bad because I I made that bad joke about Eden, and I don't wanna I wanna make up for it. So we might as well try to figure out how to help you guys too. I don't remember. I, as a player, don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> it was it was yeah. I I kind of remember, but I remember Eden was getting mad about it. So. I mean, what we could do. Uh... Sunny's uncle asked to talk to the lady and possibly get an appointment on the calendar. I don't know how it works. I don't deal with mage mm -hmm. or alchemist usually. So let's see when we can get the appointment. And in the meantime, maybe peruse the city and find things about where the tower is. And see what comes first. Also, this food is delicious, by the way. I've been like starving yeah, no, all this day. This is really fucking good. I've seen like those deers last night and I've been super hungry since then. So. Oddly enough, Autos, even though this is just one bowl, you feel full. Which is unusual. Mm -hmm. Usually, like, you would need three or four, but just one bowl was able to um, just make you feel like, huh, this is weird. And you do remember when he was passing out the food that he kind of stopped and was like, oh, no, this is this one. This one's yours. As he so, made it specifically for your type of creature. So you don't eat them out of fucking house and home. <laughs> so you say that the porridge was just right for Atos? Oh, my God. <laughs> what? Yeah. But, um, GM waits for a sudden realization. But um, oh um, no, I've I've had this realization yeah. the whole time. I, know. <laughs> I was I've just been waiting to make a Goldilocks joke. Um, <laughs> uh, I was waiting for it. Okay, okay, so we all think we should see this alchemist lady first. Yeah. Okay. And I think the yeah. idea of getting um, Mr. Aaron to help us out might be a good idea. Um, yeah, 
I think so too, because the only other thing I can think of is uh, me going in there and saying I'm a princess, and I don't know how well that will work out anyway. And and I think that would draw a little attention to you, and I don't think we can handle that right now. Also that, I can't handle it right now. <laughs> I didn't want to handle it, which is why I didn't want to tell you. But then Eden said I should tell you, so I did. I pinky swear, and she's going to hold out a mage. She's going to bring out her mage hand and have, like, a pinky out. Be like, I pinky swear, this secret's going to my fucking grave. Okay? I cast my own mage hand and <laughs> swear. <laughs> yes! <laughs> and then my then my mage hand uh, steals rings off your mage hand. <laughs> oh, that's so mean! <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> What's interesting right now about this is one thing that you guys definitely notice is the fact that Janela's mage hand begins to flicker ever mm. so often as she as it's out. Mm -mm. That's new. That can't be good. I don't think so either, but we're just gonna ignore that. And what's interesting also is it's not its usual look. It's a normal hand. You got rid of my acrylics? I mean, I the did. dice say what the oh, dice you're talk say. Oh, you're talking to Kitty. I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> There no, is no. reasons for everything, dear. Everything, yes. Okay, okay. Noted. Shit. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, how? what time is it? Uh, it's actually in the evening right now. Um, I would say probably it's around 8, 9 o'clock. Okay. Because well, you guys got here in the af around the afternoon and then had to wait in line yeah. to get up to um, this area. So... Um, Sunny, do you think your uncle will speak to Yuna, right? Yura. Yura, I was close. Um, to help us? Oh, yeah. I mean, he wouldn't have offered if he wasn't going to do it. Oh, I just, I didn't want to assume. You know, he, he definitely, you know, I don't have many friends. So when I bring people home, they're going to be very nice to them. You know what? I don't have that many friends either. Well, now we both have friends. Yes. I feel that. Mm. I should I have probably don't... warned you about the whole smell thing in Eden, but... Oh, that's okay. It was a little shocking, but I feel like your family's trustworthy, so I'm not worried about it. They know everybody's secrets in this town. Oh, well, I don't like that. Oh, your family does. Okay, okay. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> um, well, and what could you have done, really, even if you did know about that? You know, I, I don't, I don't think it's that bad, right? Hmm. No, <laughs> just fake. <laughs> I guess. But anyway, I mean, do you think maybe we need to get a little bit of rest? I mean, we've been traveling it's, all day. And... It's been a little yeah. rough, and I think that there's probably enough space. We might have to double up, but... Um, yeah. I think we should probably get some rest. I mean, I have my own room, so I'm not too worried, but... I live here. <laughs> I would assume that you... Yeah. Sunny is immediately okay. distracted. But there, <laughs> there would um, be enough space for like I would assume Janella and Rostri and then Athos and Ocasio and Nouvelle and Eden are probably going to need their own space mm -hmm. to get <laughs> to work through their problems. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, it's Probably less space and more time. Um, but yeah, Sunny would kind of show them towards the back area so that they would have, you know. I'm just shoving those space. cubes into my mouth and then like honey buns. <laughs> Good, right? Uh, I, mm -hmm. I think I think Janelle is gonna like place the honey bun on top of the tea so like the steam kind of warms it up a little bit, like on top of the tea mug, and then just wait for it to warm up a little bit while walking back. 
Um, Ooh, as you guys walk back, because you got to make sure it doesn't um, get soggy. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, oddly enough, they actually keep their form. They don't get soggy. Alchemist cooking. You gotta love it. <laughs> wait, think- wait. So, so who's asking Aaron? Where's I that? think I think he's just gonna do it, maybe? Question mark? You're, You're muted, muted, sweetie. You're love muted. you. <laughs> <laughs> I said I'll take care of that. Don't worry. Okay. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Sunny. Sunny would talk to Aaron. <clears throat> yeah, you guys see Sunny. Sunny just over. wants to get to her own bed because yeah, y'all we... know what that's like. You've been traveling and then you're oh on bed. Oh yes. Yeah. Yes, mm-hmm. absolutely. And you're just like face first into the pillows. Nothing's oh yeah, especially when you know gosh. it's just the perfect. <clears throat> it, it's just been shaped perfectly to your form, and you're like, yeah. yes. Um. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you guys see Sunny kind of break off real fast, go over to the bar, and they do a quick talk, and you kind of see Goldie look over, whisper into um, Sunny's ear, uh, and nod, and she comes back, and she's like, um, confirms, like, yeah, he's going to go talk to her. It's probably going to be in the morning or maybe late afternoon, Um, but Goldie was like, yeah, I'll come over and talk to you guys. Because some of, before the uh, thing went down, she kind of had suspicions. And Sunny, knowing her uh, mom, it's like, mom senses tingling, something's wrong. <laughs> I need to find something out. That she'll be talking to you guys at breakfast, most likely. Mm-hmm. Okay, so, uh, Sunny, actually, you see that on your way to your room, you see over in the east wing, uh, there's new rooms. Usually, this used to be um, storage from before when they uh, bought the building. Now there's about um, I would say ten rooms now, so each of you can have your own place to um, sleep and everything. And oddly enough, these are actually really cozy uh, rooms. The um, setup is more like homely. To kind of give that feeling of comfort in a new place. What's the room arrangement? Um, Are they like side by side or like super far apart from one another? Uh, it's kind of like, um, think of like an inn. Like here's one room, here's the next room, here's the next room. Mm-hmm. So you're literally next door to each other. Oh, good. Can you pick, with your own uh, bathrooms too? Can you pick rooms based on uh, bed softness? So one is like too soft, one is too hard. Because you I know mean, some people like to sleep on rocks like just the hardest mattress do you want to try the bed in question before you go on absolutely okay uh roll a d10 the the one die i don't take out (laughs) six Okay, six. Let's see, that would be... uh, Okay. This bed, when you get into it, it actually feels like you're, you have laying down on a cloud. Oh, God, just like home. (laughs) Just sink into it. (laughs) My back's going to be destroyed tomorrow, but it's fine. (laughs) Actually, what's weird about this bed is the fact is, at first, you're trying to get comfortable, but you kind of sink in deeper and you just find this perfect spot that you're almost like out like a light. Look at that. They use Stamperpedic. Oh. Except I can't be out like a light because I'm supposed to have a really intense conversation with my sister. Yeah. So basically you feel yourself kind of like being pulled in to sleep, your body getting really relaxed. And then all of a sudden you're like, nope, nope, nope. Fight the bed, fight yeah, the bed. Yeah, nope. Oh God. Oh God. Like me, literally me with my bed every day. Um, <laughs> Okay. Oh, that's lovely. No, it's not. Ooh, that's <laughs> no. Uh, something else from the chat. I had to re- be reminded. It's like, wait, which one is? This no, one? I, I know, <laughs> I know what you're talking about, and I said no. It's not. I know. I'm, re- I'm responding okay, to hey. the right thing. It could also be a, a role for Eden too. You, you forget. I have uh-huh. allies and enemies for you guys. Enemy. Depending on which way I feel like going and which way seems the best way for story time. Okay. Anyways, 
Okay, so Eden is in the room with you. She's kind of like gotten up onto the table, looking out the window that kind of looks out um, to the road. And she's kind of like contemplative kind of look. So what are you going to do? So we're alone now. And you see she takes a deep breath and goes, okay. Well, I don't know if this is good news or bad news, but first, let me go through everything before you say anything. Okay. So... <laughs> My mage hand crosses its fingers. I'm lying. <laughs> I'm joking. And she kind of gives you that sisterly look. It's like, I know you. I've been around you for years. I know your shit. Just kind of like that. Give me this one thing, please. <clears throat> kind of look. Mm -hmm. So, first off, reason why I couldn't say anything before is when I was younger, I think I was five, I saw something I shouldn't, and I had to do a magical promise that would make sure I didn't say anything by accident, because you know how kids are, you say something without realizing something. And it's effects because you don't have enough experience to know that, I mean, one thing leads to another. So I did it, and I haven't been able to say anything until recently. But, um, you know, do you want me to beat around the bush or do you want me to just give it flat out? I just want you to give it to me flat out, like... Okay. I don't have uh, time for all the bullshit. I mean, easing you into it is what it would be called. But, uh, yeah. if we're going that route, uh, how do I put this? Uh, the king isn't our father, but Aunt Vera is. And she kind of just looks at you to see your reaction to that, um... Okay. Statement. And... Is that and it she's... or because I mean, well... I knew for myself anyway, that I wasn't his daughter because he never liked me. Oh, dear. She, he doesn't like anybody. Yeah. But like, you see, I already I put two and two together. So this whole secret probably wasn't necessary, was it? Well, you forget home. If people found out that. We're not his kids, and mother slept with our, well, mom. Uh, you know, they don't, they only see people as straight couples, right? Yeah. How do you think that they would have reacted? Oh, poorly, but I meant a secret to me. I don't mean that everybody else. Well, it's... They wouldn't have told me if I didn't accidentally walk in and see things. Yeah. Seems to happen to you a lot. Why do you think maybe I'm you should knock? Out? Maybe you should learn how to knock. Actually, no. Uh, one of the reasons why I freak out is because I walk in on things. Not even walking, just walking down hallways and hear conspiracies and people plotting shit. And I, mean, I swear I had yeah. the worst luck. That's just par for the course. I mean, also luckily, you never. Doesn't. Luckily, you never learned. You've never explored all the secret tunnels in the castle. Then you learn. And you just kind of look as she kind of smiles, sister. You have no idea what I was able to do back then. Oh, then you shouldn't act so surprised all the time. I mean, when you have to act. Uh, Let's just say there's a lot of things you don't know about me, sister, because I've had to play the role of the dutiful princess and be all this delicately. And every day it was hard. It made me want to scream. It made me want to just 
and she kind of looks away like there's something that she doesn't want to admit to herself let alone her sister i'll be honest with you nouvelle does not feel because she's like yeah, oh, yeah i live that fucking life too you're not special oh yeah and she knows it because of uh what you had to be put through given the idea that oh why don't you be as perfect as your sister kind of bullshit and uh she knows this yeah. it's one thing that definitely being a fox gives you a lot of time to yeah. kind of reflect on bullshit yeah so she's like oh of course what was me and eden's like can i just go to fuck it or nouvelle's like can i just go to fucking bed now <laughs> and she okay, kind of so looks over is that it and is like well to be truthful uh we actually do have family in for mana and this is part of the thing that i couldn't say before but originally mother was sent to down south in hopes to help invigorate and help bring positive change. But as you can see, she just kind of got trapped in the society and everything down there. But uh, one thing that mom did tell us, well, tell me, is that we should go to our uncle and our grandfather they might actually be able to help possibly get mother out of that situation if they're able to help why haven't they done so already well that's because the when this all occurred it was she kind of pauses and kind of you see she's thinking Actually, one of the things that I don't think was brought to your attention, though I don't know if you were able to <laughs> eavesdrop at all, knowing you, you probably did, but you do realize that after the Lost Realm fell, well, it's now called the Lost Realm, a lot of information trade between the North and South was broken, where getting people through there with bandits and everything that's going on. I mean, you did hear about the um, sleeping sickness that was going around. Certain Literally villages was that were just still talking. <laughs> Literally just yeah. talking shit about it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know that? A lot of people try to avoid and go the long way around. So unfortunately, longer distances, meaning higher chance that certain information doesn't get passed correctly or it gets twisted and changed by certain hands or lost completely and that's one of the issues which is one reason why Vera or mom saw to it that we took the sea route because she knew that was probably the best way for us to get away. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Do not ask me how those two were able to conceive us because uh, that is beyond my realm of understanding. Oh, I don't know. I wasn't going to ask because it's none of my business. I mean, who knows? It could be one day you could find girlfriend maybe want to settle down i don't know i, mean, I think nothing i think nothing about this i'm just like i'm you can just speculate all you want yeah she's just like throwing out possibilities she's like i don't know which way you swing mm -hmm. um but i mean yeah it's actually been real eye-opening to see the different cities that we've been through and how so much more open it is than Flavora. Yeah, that's one positive experience we've had. Yeah. I like it here. No, I do too. I do wonder how our grandfather's city, because he's supposed to be the lord. Hmm. I don't know. 
Maybe not like anybody's there. ever told me anything about anything that I didn't have to eavesdrop on. I do apologize about that. The deed is done, so I don't all know we can what do apologies. is move forward and learn. Yeah, apologies not really all that helpful at this point. I really do appreciate what you've done for me. I know I might not say it much, but I really do love you. And I hope you do not have to deal with the same current bullshit I'm dealing with. And that they leave you the hell alone so you can live your own life. I love you too. I'm not worried about me. I think I'm the least of their problems. You see uh, Eden kind of look at you, tilt her head. I think you do underestimate yourself. You're stronger than you even realize, sister. And I think they might be starting to realize that. I don't, you misunderstand. I don't underestimate myself. I just underestimate how they see me, which I think is not necessarily underestimation, but just how they've always seen me. I know what I'm capable of. I've kind of had to learn to bolster myself. And he watches, she kind of gets this contemplative look on her face. And sighs. I do have to say, it has been amazing to see you grow more into yourself. And what was it that Acacio said? Muchness? Was that it? Yeah. Yeah, something like that. It actually does make sense, oddly enough. Yeah. I, as a player, don't remember what he said, so I'm, so I'm just like, yep. <laughs> uh, basically, I remember there being muchness, and I'm just like, uh, blank. Just like <laughs> for uh, people who are uh, watching and everything, uh, muchness is the idea that at first you don't know how you're much uh, potential. It's oh, the realizing yeah. of how much potential you actually have, and thus yeah. uh, going on from there. And the more much you have is the more uh, understanding of yourself and your own personal potential. Yeah. I think when you were cursed, I made a decision that no matter what, I was not going to allow myself to be defined by their expectations of me anymore. And that's why I made the decisions that I did. Because their expectations of you only got you harmed. So I'm done with that. At that moment, she nods. Shall we go to bed? Oh, yes. I'm, I'm absolutely tired. I want to go to sleep. I wasn't going to let you share the bed with me, but I guess I will now. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> um, I think I'm just going to look out the window for a little bit. 
Kind of contemplate okay. things. Well, your bear is right here for you when you're ready to go to sleep. She kind of gives you a little uh, lick on your cheek. <laughs> you know, seriously, this is the, some of the weirdest things, being a fox. So, it actually might help us in helping Janella find Cherish. Hmm. Good point. Because she did have an, a distinct smell. If we're lucky, I might be able to pick it up. Yeah, that would... Honestly, I didn't think about that, but that's a good point. Because, I mean, being... I can see a tower, way to be vague, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Alright, well, I'll... I'm gonna sleep now. Yes, you definitely need it. Oddly enough, one thing I've noticed about being in the swamp, I don't actually need to sleep. It's kind of terrifying. And you just kind of watch as she gets back up where she was yeah. uh, at the window and looks out with this kind of contemplative look on her face. Yeah. Have noticed that, every, you know, whenever she is asleep and I move, she immediately wakes up just like, mm -hmm. like a dog. <laughs> Just like my, just like Prince, my dog. <laughs> uh, you can you move a little bit and like just awake. What are you doing? I guess. <laughs> yeah. Like, damn it! I was in a comfortable spot. Okay, fine. I'll move. Yeah. Okay. So the night progresses. Each of you found a room and a bed that works for your comfort level. Janella. Hi. Once again, that dream comes up. Oh, fantastic. You see the darkness around you. You see the threads coming from your heart. Some of them are a little bit more tattered than they were before. And the golden sphere that has been, you realize now that it's been protecting you. And you look a little bit closer in this dreamscape and you notice that it has the telltale signs of that golden shimmer that accompanies um, Chesh and his magic. Hmm. And there's still those cracks, slowly getting longer, deeper. Then you feel another little twinge on the stream, you look down, and you see it's tightening, tightening. Almost looks like it's about to snap, but then it releases and goes back into a resting spot like it was before. And you feel like you probably just missed another close call. And then you fall into a deeper sleep. And I would do something with Kakasio, but he's not here, so he doesn't get this. Oh no! It's a mystery to all of you. Until later. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. So, if I may do one thing, I know everybody's going to sleep. Mm -hmm. It's nothing major. It's not going to change the plot or anything. Go ahead. Uh, so once Kakasio is passed out, which probably would be very quick, uh, mm -hmm. I'm just going to take out the paper that I bought an ink and just start writing a letter uh, okay. real quick it's good, probably gonna take me i don't know how much time it would take me 30 minutes an hour or so just really thinking about things uh and, let's see depending on how long it is i would say probably, probably like a, to 30 minutes yeah it's probably like a page long letter yeah so it's not Because I don't sleep in my armor, because that would be extremely uncomfortable, especially I'm in tavern now. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not sure how much uh, Nouvelle is paying attention to things or how, how quickly she's asleep. But when mm -hmm. we don't necessarily share a room, I do make round and just, you know, make sure that things are alright in the hallway real quick. Before going back to my room. Mm -hmm. And eventually uh, going to sleep. Otherwise, if I had my armor, she would still hear me clanking like pots and pans. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Don't 
be suspicious. Clink, 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 clink. Oh my god. <laughs> Rafi or no, Rafiki, wow. Rafiki, go to bed. Um, Athos, go to bed. You're just, you're waking everybody up. Um, probably while you were up and just doing a quick round, you do see Titus, uh, Sonny's cousin, um, kind of taking a break in, um, kind of like the sitting room that they have. And he kind of just looks up, tilts his head, kind of like, what is this guy doing? And then just shrugs, goes back to uh, reading his book that he has in front of him. Just nightly round. You just hear like a little um, kind of hump. Like, okay, whatever. I don't care. <laughs> okay. So, I think this is actually a good spot to take a quick break. So, we'll be right back in a bit. Yep. Get up, go stretch, after drink some water. Time. I will see you all after the break. Red Rock.
back. everybody, and welcome back. Um, unfortunately, one of our dear players had to step out. They're not feeling great. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Kelly, hope you start feeling better. Um, love you, twin. We won't play. We won't burn the place the ground. You, so, anyways, uh, we just made it to the end. Uh, we had a good conversation between the group and our dear sisters. And now it comes morning. You all are actually quite refreshed. More refreshed than you've ever been. Which is odd. But good. I'm so suspicious. You guys... <laughs> uh, so Ooh. you guys all come out of your rooms at whatever times you all get up. Um, Sunny and Acacio are kind of the late bloomers. And you guys come into the kitchen where um, you see Uncle Aaron and um, who didn't introduce themselves, unfortunately, was uh, Uncle Barlow, mm. um, who is uh, Aaron's husband. And you don't see Goldie or Titus. And you guys can easily assume, okay, they're probably either at the bakery or um, getting prepped for um, the morning rush and all that. And so uh, Aaron's just sitting, uh, drinking some tea. Oh, I see you guys are all awake. Indeed. Good morning. So, uh, since Goldie isn't here, but she did ask me when you all woke. So, what exactly is going on? About Which part? Makings. Yeah. <laughs> How do I put this? The more information you give me, the better I can probably help you all. Well, you already <sighs> know about my sister. Good. Yes. So that's taken care of. And this one, this one we're not sure exactly. Because it's complicated and yeah. cannot talk for some um, reason. I mm -hmm. can't talk about it. Hmm. Otherwise, bad things happen. Here's what we know. Her patron has been taken by a, some kind of fey creature. Which really shouldn't be possible, but it is a thing that happened. Looks like a... And is being held somewhere in the city. You just see his eyes um, narrow and he's like, Okay, give me more information if you can. Um, so, uh, it's, the uh, Cheshire Cat, uh, has been helping me out, um, with the, um, the curse that I'm under, that I've been under since I was a baby. Um, and, like, this locket, <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know why I said it like that. Um, <laughs> this locket, and she's gonna, like, hold up the locket and just, um, well, she'll take it off and hand it to him, because I guess she trusts yeah. him. Um... And she's like, okay. this locket's been it, I guess. Hmm. And you watch as he kind of looks around, pops it open, somehow pops it open pretty easily. Uh. Hmm. Can he do and that? Looks, well, they not he can. I mean, he just... And uh, Rastri, Rastri's like looking at Janelle like, can he do that? I'm... And you watch as his eyes kind of flare for a second and begin to glow. Though, not the glow that you've seen from the other family members. And he gently closes it, hands it back. Okay. For the person who took him, do you have any inf more information on them? I can't talk about her. It's her fairy godmother. Yeah. Fairy lady. Anybody else She's in this room beside us? Uh, no, it's just oh, right. uh, yeah. the two uncles. The others are currently out, and it's just you. Yeah. And oddly enough, in this room, you, one thing you guys all have noticed is you don't really hear the din of uh, any sounds from outside, or even if there's anybody in the bar uh, mm. in area. Nice. What were you going to say, Rostri? Uh, as I, I ask as you take a bite of your food. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, she had these really glittery, like, opal wings, like... Opalescent? 
Uh, yeah, that's a that's a word for it. Um, she's kind of she she didn't act. I she looked like a fairy godmother. Um, and uh, no judgment, Janella. Like I totally believe she is, but she didn't act like a fairy godmother. There's something wrong with her. Yes. Like, she's been corrupted somehow, but we're not sure who did it or why or when. Uh, with that, he kind of leans back. What's this? Okay. Right? Right? That was exactly my response, yeah. too. Yeah, it's a lot. Yeah, yeah, it is. Especially seeing that um, for a lot of people who don't know, I don't know if she's they've told you, but that is a locket that has connections to um, Thunderland. What? No. Didn't know that. What? Learned something new every day about Janela specifically. She's just staring <laughs> at it now like, what the fuck is this? Well, I mean... Oh. Is there's... it tied to your magic? Like, I... It... No, my, um... My mom gave it to me when I was little. Um, but yeah, that's where... How I found chess. I was trying to break it and, um... Like, I read the back of it somehow. It's not even something I normally can read. And then he popped out. Well, on the back is uh, the language of Thunderland. It's I, it's hard to explain because from what we've read and things between the two, um, it's a very... To us, it's a complicated... Kind of, uh, it's a very complicated language that most of us on the planes just don't understand. It's kind of, you think you read it one way and next minute it's another way. It's, it's one Can I see? Why. Oh, yeah, I'll hand it to Novo. Mm -hmm. But, huh. You said I didn't it was even know you could write letters like that. Oh, just wait. No, blink and then look again. Oh, and God. you watch it's actually shifted again to something yeah. else. Is and you're like, like <clears throat> out of character, is this like a legit unknown language or is it a language that maybe one of us does know? One of you does know it, but currently he's passed out still. A God. fucking course. God, God damn, damn it. Damn it. Juice. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he is from there, so mm -hmm. didn't he, yeah. isn't he, yeah, so, yeah. like, he would, why haven't, right? Out of character, why haven't I thought of giving it to fucking Juice to read? I mean, it I mean, has I feel been, like this is, like, the first time I did, I feel like this is, like, the I'm first time I've even heard of this locket, not gonna yeah. lie. <laughs> yeah, it <laughs> actually oh, is. A locket now? <laughs> um, I've been kind of bad, but, like, uh, I always pictured, like, Janela's magic kind of originating from it, so like it will lift up mm -hmm. a little bit and like react to whatever spells going on. I feel like I've like um seen like heard you talk about that and seen which is why I was like, wait, isn't it what your magic mm -hmm. is like channeled through and chess mm -hmm. is Wonderland and magic is Wonderland? Like it makes sense mm -hmm. to me out of character. Like I thought we knew I thought we yeah. knew that. That was I probably don't know anything. It was hinted at. <laughs> as a person. And I would say probably Rashti is one of the only ones that actually kind of noticed given her background. But at the time of a lot of those spells occurring was during battle. So it was like, oh, that's it. Oh, shit. This is coming at my face kind of moment. Yeah, where you're, no, nobody's yeah. paying attention to you, Janela. Yeah. So sorry. You, you would <laughs> probably have noticed it. But your attention was pulled away and you forgot about it kind of a situation. That happens um, quite a lot with people. Not. So, do you think Kira will be able to help us? Uh, and you just kind of watch as he's looking where the lock, where whoever has the locket right now looks back. I mean, he's kind of like thinking it's possible. Uh, one of her uh, fortes is contractual magic, like oaths and such like that. Because unfortunately, some idiots uh, will 
get into a contract by accident from both parties, and it actually screws them both over. We all look in the direction of Acacia's room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so wait, how is she? Ooh, ooh. How is she with curses then? It depends on the curse, but from how she is saying, and he kind of points at Janella, it sounds like it's a contractual curse. Oddly That's kind of how Chess was describing it to me when we were talking about it. But it's even more unusual given if she is the fairy godmother. There's... They don't work with contractual magic like that. And contractual magic is actually quite rare. Yeah, there's something wrong with her. Like, li like literally. I mean, there's something wrong with everybody, but... No, I mean, there's something has been done to her to make her behave contrary to what she should be. At least that's our current theory. Maybe that's why she's so messed up. It's because she tried to mess with magic that she's not really supposed to. I mean, it's and possible. She, and she messed it up. Um, <clears throat> magic does awful things to you if you don't know how to respect it. I mean, which everyone here knows, I'm sure. Um, yes, a lot of people based don't. On what I've seen in my own homeland, I think it's something that's been done to her. Not necessarily something that she did to herself. What have you... What makes you say that? Like, what have you seen that makes you say that? And you notice that Aaron kind of gets a little bit more... Yes, this is actually quite interesting. Where are you from, by the way? If you don't mind me asking. So... Uh... Aralon? Really? That's quite a ways. Mm -hmm. huh? In Aralon, I, I said this yesterday on the cart, um, Eden had noticed that the fairy's eyes were off. Like, there was a flatness to them. Like, there was no... Like, their life, the light in them had been dimmed. And I've seen a lot of that in the people of Aralon over the past couple years. And you kind of watch this. Uh, he kind of leans forward and gets really intent on you and what you're saying. It all started with the rise of a this new religion. Yeah. Hmm? With that in mind, is it something that I would have loosely encountered during my job? <laughs> You yes, asked this you would last have. time. Yeah. <laughs> you asked the same question last I, time. I don't remember. I'm old. At the time, <laughs> at the time, just kind of reiterate, you didn't really notice because you were more focused on trying to for protection and making sure like certain yeah. things didn't go killing multiple people uh, due to your uh, job as a Shimmer Knight and eventually um, a Royal Guard. Um... It wasn't until really you started talking to Novelle once you found her mm. and her sister that uh, it, that kind of click and you're like, oh, oh shit. Because there were some of your friends who you knew were mm -hmm. acted one way and suddenly it's like a totally reverse of personality. And one of the things like- Yeah, you okay, now, now I remember. Being up. Mm -hmm. It's like ever since people started worshipping this god it's weird they just change like they'll act like you normally like you know them to act and then it's like they're a completely different person what's the name of the god do you know i'm sure oh. i do i'm sure oh, it's <laughs> written somewhere uh, but no but i i as a player no memory um one actually pack. it's uh the one is how they call them oh yeah it's um the one so it is uh neo from the matrix yeah um <laughs> it's just the they're just worshiping uh, keanu reeve they just they just call it <laughs> honestly can the... i join like because 
the one, Reeves. the true I mean, one. Honestly, yeah, if if it if it was if it was that great, I would also join. But it's actually uh, v bad, y'all. Um, mm-hmm. uh, yeah, they just it doesn't necessarily have like a name. It's just, they just call it the one, like the one god. Well, that's but, egotistical. Yeah, and then I mean, there's a bunch yeah. of other gods too, like that have been around for a while. So like that's kind of like asshole Yeah, especially when yeah. many of the other gods actually have walked among us and helped in certain ways. Well, one of the things about this worship, because <laughs> it's a lot of proselytizing, as I'm uh-huh. sure you can imagine, um, and we're not sure where this came from. It just, I mean, Erlon's a, a trade city. It's on the trade route, so, I mean, it could have come from anywhere, but a lot of people like just tell you to believe in the path that like the one has given you and that you'll be rewarded and it's just i don't know it's i think under normal circumstances that wouldn't come across as sinister but like combined with everything else that's happened it's pretty creepy i mean it sounds like another way to say just lie back and take it which i don't think i'm a fan Mm -hmm. of yeah, I'm not Neither either. I. I was told that I was told that by my father and my mother when they gave me the talk. What? I and... also mentioned this on the cart. Yesterday. <laughs> yeah. uh, you actually see the uh, two men kind of look at you and going. Um, anyway, to give you the actual talk later on. Maybe. That's not really yeah. important right now, though, to be honest. Actually, it's like the lowest on my ladder. I mean, just a simple talk later on. Anyways, um, actually, that is quite worrisome. Mm-hmm. There has been certain things happening in the city that luckily the gods have been doing good at taking care of, but the fact that we're still seeing stuff and whispers is not worrying, and this new information... How did you get over up here, anyways? Because uh, given the lost realm and the chaos there, getting train traveling up there with the bandits um, and everything has been not ideal. Uh, we took a we took a boat to yeah. Jupar. Boats are still a thing. Like traveling up that way. Oh yeah. Um. I also heard the yeah. city of Forge is actually trying to make a flying ship. That's nothing. The one god is the reason why we left. One of the reasons why we left. Because, you know, you get cursed and people just think that's the path that you're supposed to be on. And just don't worry about it. It'll all work out in the end. Because that's what the one has in store for you. And... uh, Wait, so people What was in store for Eden was not good. So people believe so that willingly it. getting cursed is okay in that religion? Mm, not that mm, not that it's okay, but just like that it'll all work out in the end, you know? <laughs> yeah, well, let me cursed. guess, it's the idea of you have to go through a tough trial and find happiness at the end, like you're happily ever yeah. after bullshit. Yeah, as if, as if life isn't hard enough as it is without having curses placed upon you yeah i mean things work out because people work them out Mm -hmm. yeah well in this religion they would just have you let life do whatever it wants to you without you having any say in what should become of you basically it sounds like the concept of your destiny and this is why I'm so glad that I follow the fateful roads. You get choices. Many choices. And you get to walk to your own path. But that is really worrisome, what you've been saying and everything like that. Um, now, you said that they were able to capture Cheshire. We're talking about the Cheshire Cat of Underwood. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. I I don't I I honestly have no idea how I accidentally summoned him. I literally just like read the back of the locket. Which like makes me think like did my mom know chess? Like I never I, I never asked that question. That is I dumb. I mean it, it could seems be likely just based on the origins of this locket and where you got it from. I mean, well, I think, okay, mm, I think it's from my grandma, and then she gave it to my mom, and then she gave it to me. It's like an heirloom. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's definitely possible. A lot of people don't know this, but there are portals. Um, I've actually been to one of the portals, that's why I actually know a lot of this. An idea of stuff, I guess you could say. I don't know all of it, because Wonderland is literally has its own physics rules laws it's you literally have to break your entire mind on concept reality if that makes sense um i actually wrote a paper on this but <laughs> it's possible that she could have been at one of the portals that was guarded by both sides and one way or another did a service to Chesh. And basically got a favor that was passed down through generation to generation. Hmm. From what I understand of what you've been told, telling me. Could be no, something that, else, I don't know. That makes sense. But... Hmm. Now, you were saying that Ocasio, the... Uh, rabbit fellow. Yeah. Uh, he's mm. from there? Hmm. And you kind of watch yeah. as he's kind of thinking. I don't... Um. If he's from Thunderland, he doesn't seem to know that he's from there. I... I don't know. It's he seems to be of... dodging around a question regarding this yeah. a lot. It's, it, yeah. it, 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 it's hard to he's... get straight answers out of him. It's he's like, did dodgy, I have fully dealt with backstory? Good. Like, he's a solid yeah. friend, but he's really cagey. Just... Yeah. I mean, well, I can always try I mean... to inter interrogate him the, pro the way I usually do with people. Look, can we, can we not? Can you not? Okay, anyways. Um, I can actually probably tell you why he's probably more cagey and dodgy about it. If he was... Possibly one of the ones from the borderlands, the borders between our two worlds. It's possible that's how he was trained. He might have been in one of the locations that are highly guarded because you don't want to suddenly have an army come through and cause mm -hmm. chaos. Because you have to admit, our world does have a lot of greedy assholes out there. And mm -hmm. look at the world. Oh, look, free resources. Let's invade, take. It's one of the reasons why the portals are heavily guarded. And nowadays, Wonderland is more of a myth. They don't want to have what happened in the past happen now. And Makes sense. The only reason I'm telling you this is because of that locket. And your connection to Chesh. But if he's captured, that's not good. No. Oh, that reminds me. Uh, Eden and I were talking last night, and she thinks maybe she might be able to help us find him. Really? Her keen set, trust me, she complains about smelling things a lot. But she says that chat like you and I guess by proxy chess have a very distinctive smell. She didn't and say it in just, a bad way. You just see uh both uh guys and Eden give a look and like that knowing look of oh god, yeah, smells um, can do be I, really annoying. Do I smell yeah. bad? No, she didn't say I'm it in a bad way. I... She just said it No, she just said it was very distinct. Like it's like unique. I mean, Chess isn't from this world, so of course he wouldn't smell like the normal things that we smell here. 
She didn't say what this mm. smells like, but she didn't. Normally, if it's something that smells bad, she makes a face, and she didn't make a face. Okay, cool. I mean, everybody has their distinct smells. Like, yeah, um, we could easily track you guys in the city up to a point. Wow, oh, way to go, like, oh, Eden. No, Eden, that that that'd be really helpful. Yeah. Thank you. I think it would also help us narrow it down because all he said was that he sees the tower, which is very big because the city is full of them. Mm. <gasps> and he watches uh, both of them kind of sit back and he's like, he said tower, right? Yeah. Yes. And you just see uh, the two men kind of look at each other. Kind of give like this look like, is it? Mm. If it's just a tower. You seem to have an idea uh, already. The Possibly. There's a few places that you probably would only see one tower. But that's basically in the entrance of the city. Mm. Um, that, would, that would make sense. Down below. Off the view. Um, you might want to try there first. Uh, I might actually have an idea to help locate a little bit faster. Possibly a general area. Um, do you know if Acasio has an, anything from Thunderland on him, by chance? His watch. Yes, yes. I, I yeah, think his he has watch, a watch is from there. Okay. Um, it's like attuned to Thunderland. And you, you definitely see his eye a brow rise at that. Really. So he probably was one of the gods of the portals. All huh. we know is he was trained to do something and then something bad happened. Hmm. I'll probably have to uh, talk to him about that. Good luck. If... Yes, <laughs> I mean, you were still sleeping when I left, so... Yes, he's like sunny. Seriously, I, I really wonder if she's secretly aware. It's... It's the well. secret. It's the sugar crash, I think. I mean, you eat that all that too. those honey buns, and then you crash real hard. Do not tell her the some of her honey buns. I don't use sugar. In. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Nouvelle looks scandalized by this. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I actually what? use other. Um, let's just say it's an alchemist uh, kind of recipe. When I found it, I was shocked. It was actually a little bit better than sugar. Um, and you have noticed that those have given you a little bit more vitality, right? When you've eaten. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. They're very really refreshing. Oh, yeah. That was years of uh, working. But uh, now I, we've all wondered if she's secretly aware as well, just a baby cub that hasn't really gotten her claws yet. Mm, that's uh, adorable. I'm still very much interested in how, like, you know. <laughs> I just give, like, Nouvelle the look like, come on. I mean, I mean, in her head, she's like, she doesn't say this all out, she's like, just think of it like, Princess Nouvelle Dustain, House of Erlon, first of her name, fucking werebear. <laughs> well, I can tell you it's better to possibly find a werebear that you fall in love with and go that way, because I can tell you cursed werism is not fun. Look at your friend. She's gonna. Curses are not fun. Oh, are you talking about my sister? No. Which friend? Yeah. Which curse? Yeah. <laughs> There's two of them more to choose from. I believe the like... option A or B. I believe the point is one looks... It's like, which one feels worse to you? Curses mm. are not a thing to mess with. Okay. Okay, fine. But I will uh, talk I... to Yura about your situation. Okay, thank you. After we work with the more pressing matter. Cause, and yeah. he kind of looks over to uh, Eden. It's okay if we wait a little bit. It seems your curse is actually stable and 
she nods like, yeah, this is yeah, I I kind of need, oops. Kind of need her curse if she's going to sniff out where Jess is. But mm-hmm. it is, it's still top, one of the top things on the list to do. Okay. Yes, um, I'll definitely talk to Yura. I will definitely give her some of the more interesting experimental foods that I've been working on. Especially one of them, which I haven't released yet. But I might be able to open the door with food. I mean, food is one of the most interesting things to get into a door. But uh, first thing I will do is actually talk to Sunny and Ocasio. I might have an idea how to get us a little closer to where we're looking, because as you saw when you were coming this way, Damara is a very large city with different districts Mm -hmm. and everything, Mm -hmm. so if we can narrow it down some way, somehow, um, I do know sending, so if you hear my voice while you guys are out searching, don't freak out, it's just me t- talking to you, okay? If I find anything while yeah, we're working. You, I've heard that uh, mm-hmm. Mr. Aaron? Hmm? Yes? Um, if food doesn't work, um, I have some raw ethereum. How in the world did you get that? The supplies have basically been shut down since the mines. Long story. Yeah, we fixed the mines. Okay, not so Well, we, we got rid of what was what was keeping the miners out. What'd you say, Trius? I started to say long story, and then you were like, we fixed, we, we fixed the mines. And I was like, okay, maybe okay. not so yeah. long a story. That's how we met Sunny. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, um, hmm. You know, I do want to find out what exactly was going in the mines. Um, unfortunately, being a scholar, you minds are like that, and you get curious, and you're like, "Oh, what's this?" Anyways, uh, but I digress. Um, I would definitely check down first because I'm thinking if he only saw one tower, the only tower I can really think of, yeah, it would probably be the entrance to the city down and, that way. So and I'm assuming it's not like a tourist destination that we can just waltz in and, hey, we want to tour. Kind of situation. Yeah. A lot of places around here. I mean, we have a lot of labs and places in which people are experimenting. And there's a lot of times that they, it's better to have them outside the city with whatever experiments, just in case, um, you guys did see the multiple explosions that happened, I think it was... Yesterday? Afternoon, yeah. That happens, um, quite a lot. Are there any special circumstances where they would let people in? I mean, depends. If it's, uh... If you're from the academy and you're following that same thread of information, then that's one way. But from the sounds of it, they probably are one of the ones that might not have gotten okayed by the council. So, true Um, connections. Yeah. Basically, it's one of those underground, hidden laboratories in which some alchemists say, screw you, I'm gonna do whatever I want, and... um, I mean, just the other week, the gods found one of those secret underground labs, and um, let's just say, from word of mouth, it wasn't pretty what they found with them. So, yeah. If it's one of, from the sound of it, it's one of those underground labs, I would just say, kick down the door and go in. Possibly tell yeah. one of the guards saying you have a uh, reason if you get pulled in. Explain the situation. Most guards are, when it comes to underground uh, experimentations and all that, 
They really are on top of it, especially given a few years ago that almost took down the entire city. That sounds awful. Downside of sciences and the academia. You accidentally run into things you don't expect and you go, oh shit, oh shit. Yeah. Horrible. Luckily, everybody was able to get together and stop it before it went critical. At least we have a few leads now. Mm -hmm. And I mean, it actually helped, oddly enough, to increase regulations and stop other things before they got worse, thankfully. Maybe we can hear this story over dinner tonight or something. Yes, um, definitely go down that way. Um, let me see. And he watches, he kind of walks away, and he quickly pens um, a note, holds it, puts a stamp on it, walks back, gives it to Rashti. This will be able to get you back into this upper city. Um, it's one of the, uh, I would say, ways to make sure that people that might have nefarious ideas don't get back into the city itself and possibly get information they're not supposed to get which kind of makes me wonder if it's she most likely is down in the lower reaches of the city itself so we were able to just sort of walk right in is it because we were with sunny yes okay uh, she is well known there was a few years that we had her go around delivering. And then she got into a fight. That is a lot surprising yeah, I... delivery part. Yeah. Let's just say the guy deserved it. He got his ass kicked. She had to be punished because she stopped the fight, technically, but as I said before, he deserved it. He kind of got kicked out of the city. So. Yeah, she was banned from delivering anything really in the city. So, yeah. But anyways, you guys should head out yeah. while you still have some light. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. I'll work with Sunny and Ocasio here to see if we can possibly <laughs> narrow down the search a little bit more. Well, your help is appreciated. Mm -hmm. No, yeah, thank you so much. No, you're welcome. Thank you. Uh, as we're about to exit, I'm just going to turn back to him. Uh, do you know where one could find a courier service? Uh, let's see. How fast do you need it to be sent? Uh, and uh, how dangerous is the situation? I mean, I have to go through. they're going over to Windermere, so I'm not sure what the situation over there it'll see. As for speed, is um, I haven't heard of that city. It's is it perhaps in the south, where you guys uh, are from? Yeah, it's a it's a small. Town. Uh, I don't. Is it in Flavora? Yeah. Okay. Uh, the safe route would be most likely the sea. Went the long way around. But I might actually know somebody crazy enough to actually get all the way down there. And he's pretty fast on his feet. I usually have people for that, they're just indisposed right now. Why don't you just use the sending or something like that? I mean, I could, yeah, it's a but I don't uh, know the person. To Athos, sorry, no. I didn't mean to. Athos, why don't you just use like a sending or something? Uh, a bit um, old, more old-fashioned when it comes to sending certain messages, so. 
<laughs> I mean, sending does have its uh, drawbacks. You only can say, what was it, 25 words? Yeah. So sometimes sending a letter is better, and on occasion you can't. The person you're trying to send to doesn't get it due to... They might be in a magically dead zone, if that makes sense. Oddly enough, that has been happening more lately, which is odd. But, um, since you helped Sunny, I'll take care of it. Um, you just give me the address of where you're wanting them to be sent to. Uh, I'm gonna give him the information right down. And, and what, uh, I don't know money, like how much you need for that, but I will gladly, you know, pay for it. No, nope. don't worry about money. You guys helped Sunny. But, Oddly enough, she's a little bit happier, which is good to see. So, I'll see to it that this letter gets to where it's uh, meant to be as quickly. And also, I might just have him look around to see confirmation of what you guys have been saying about what was happening down there. Because I think the council might want to know about that too. Because if it's it. a threat to the city and possibly a threat to other cities as well, it might be good because I think it was Irvos country that's next door to us. They've also been having strange things happening, especially after the so-called assassination of the prince, though. There's been whispers that he's actually alive in hiding though so a lot of things have been happening around lately which most people might think it's just simple coincidental things but now i'm not so sure but anyways and he kind of shoots you guys out the door you guys go off um don't lose that letter it'll get you back in if the gods were there when they saw sunny with you guys They'll probably just go. Oh, now you guys can go in. Um, uh, Rashta, if you give it to me, I can keep it in my scarf. Yeah, that's a good place for it. There you go. Just shove it in there. Thank you so much for that. Yeah. No worries, do you? Do you have like an, I'm talking to um, uh, Nouvelle, do you have like an inventory of like what you keep in there or do you just shove things in there? Oh, yeah, I mean, I keep an in, in inventory. It's not a lot of stuff in there. A lot of it, it's just sort of uh, personal items. Or in things that, like, should just be kept safe. Like, you know, that um, the raw Ethereum is in there. Safe. Um, actually, no, I probably wouldn't. She probably wouldn't put it in there because it's volatile. Um, the... Um, rarefied, purified Ethereum that we got. The piece that I took is in there. Um, my crown is in there. Eden's crown is in there. Well, now I want to see them someday. Cause that sounds... I don't know. That sounds neat. Never, I don't think I've seen a crown before, like, other than in a history book or a portrait. <laughs> I thought this is over there just like shaking his head. Yeah. Dude. Um, um Novelle, maybe in the back of your, uh, in the back of your head, you hear Eden say, I'm going to melt that damn crown down if this is the last thing I do. Oh, I've honestly kept them just in case we need, like, extra money. She kind of pauses, looks at you, and nods. Yeah. I mean, right? Or maybe, I mean, or maybe it would be nice to have them if, like, you know, we can fix the things that are wrong back at home. 
Um, is Nivel saying this out loud, or is this no. more prolonged eye contact? It's prolonged eye contact. De mm -hmm. contest. Yeah. They're doing it again. To Janella. Yeah, they are. Who's gonna blink first? It's totally gonna be Nivel. Yeah, I was gonna say. Oh my God. <laughs> probably way better at that. <laughs> I would say before either of them blinks, their conversation is done and they look back at you two. Uh, I, you know, there's, there's just a lot of things that I like. I have a ring that my mother gave me and, you know, just sentimental stuff. Things I didn't want to leave home without. Well, and that you don't want to lose. I, I get yeah. it. Totally get it. Um, Novelle, you actually notice that um, Eden kind of looks at Rashti, mm -hmm. turns her head, and then kind of gets a look on her face like she just realized something that has been nagging at her. And she kind of looks over to you and goes, um, I don't know. I just realized this, but she, Rashti has the same kind of scent as Aunt, um, Mom does. Huh. So, you know, has... she was, she was saying that, you know, my scarf is made from the same material that she saw back at home. Did I, I just and... tell you that Mom was a witch, right? Uh, and Vera was a witch. Yeah, how do you think I learned my magic? Okay. I just wanted to make sure, because we talked a lot about things, and... I think she might be a witch, too. They're doing it again, Janela. <laughs> I mean, I have I seen her cast magic. Stop staring, it's I've not seen it's rude. Magic. I mean... You know what's really interesting about her smell is... Where mom had more of a scent of a full-blown pine forest, kind of like the Cold Snap Mountains. Mm -hmm. Hers is like a fresh new field of flowers that have just started to bloom in spring. That's huh. the best way I can explain it. Truly not know. what I would have imagined Rashi to smell like. And I don't mean that in a mean way, but just like, just, I don't know. I look at her and I just think really cold, freshly fallen snow. And like that crisp air. What do you think they're talking about? <laughs> do you think they're talking? Are they staring? I what? I, that's the thing, that's the only logical explanation I could have, unless, like, they're just, like, always constantly having staring contests. You know, I bet that they're, like, fighting right now. Mm. You know, should I, should I tell them that we can still hear them even when we're talking? <laughs> <laughs> You know, just um, walk alongside Janella. Like I don't know, is it just? I just want to know. I just purely want one of them to win this staring contest. Hey, even I... next time we do this, we should just absolutely just both of us stare at one of them. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's funny is the fact is they don't realize we can hear them. I know that's oh, what I was saying. Way. Like we can we can absolutely hear everything they're saying right now. Mm -hmm. Oh, by the way, just so you know, you actually have a really interesting scent. It's like the scent of a meadow with freshly that has just had like a light rain to it. That really nice calming scent. Y'all, I'm gonna need a light of candles it. at this point. Like this sounds amazing. I will take it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Um, okay. 
we should probably stop talking now because they're just chattering about us. I know they keep looking at us. Yeah. I I like slowly <laughs> I'm like, what you didn't watch this. I just slowly turn my head in their direction. <laughs> Eden sees exactly what you're doing and does the exact same thing unblinking. <laughs> yeah. And you just watch as her fur kind of shimmers to different colorations, uh, settling with the same kind of coloration of uh, Rashti's clothing. She's a fucking chameleon, too? You knew this. Yeah, we did seen it before. We yeah. Uh, yeah. She did it in the cave too. Have you been drinking? <laughs> no, I just have real crap memory when I'm stressed. I'm sorry. Uh there's been so much stress lately. How are you feeling? Like you haven't had that conversation didn't give you any headaches or anything, right? Um No. I'm I'm good. It's That's like good. it's odd. There's like um Certain things that I'm absolutely barred from talking about at length, and then like, like talking about it briefly, then it was fine. I think mostly because it was about like chess and shit. But no, the thing with the locket is um, spooking me a bit. But that's about it. I'm sorry, it's spooking you. Like it sounds really scary. It sounds really, really scary. It's okay. I I was too little to be able to know and like have talks about stuff like that when my mom passed. So I don't know. There could be something real ooh, spooky going on and I've just been inheriting it. So I guess maybe in a way we'll find out. Watch it be something silly, like I'm like a fucking princess or some shit like that. I'd be the worst fucking princess. You could probably borrow New Bell's crown. You know what? That'd be kind of fire. Uh huh. Hmm. Or maybe Eden would let you borrow. Maybe. I don't know. I don't need it. No, but like you could totally like pose and see what it looks like. <laughs> Nah, I kind of know. My dad's a merchant, so I always kind of knew that, like, eventually I'd be taking up that business. What kind of merchant, like, ships? Do you, does he sail? Is it, like... Yeah, yeah. That's why we live on a coast town. He has, like, a huge, like, coat, like, huge... Like, have you heard of the, um... DM, please help. What's the name of the guild? The merchant's guild that he made? It's like a uh, uh, golden birch or something like that, right? I believe so. Let me bring up okay. my notes. Give me one second. I, I pull it up, but my brain ain't working. Oh, no worries. So just give me one. I had to find the right one. No, no. This is not the right place. Welcome to a GM pulling up the correct notes, because they have a lot of them. Not that one. Mm -hmm. Not that one either. Ooh! No, that's information that has been dropped yet. Oh! Where are you? You can read that one out loud. That yeah, no, that's fine. <laughs> no. Oh, <laughs> but, um, no, not that one. I, I can't. Yeah, it's the Birch Trading Company. The Birch Trading um, Company, yeah. Yeah, and it has a golden birch um, with a silver merchant scale as its emblem. Mm -hmm. Yep, Birch Trading so, Company. So have I heard of the Birch Trading Company? I don't think so. You actually would have, uh, because they are actually a well-known um, sailing merchant guild. Oh, okay. And given that the North is actually... And that's how one we of their supplies. main mm -hmm, from the two continents. They're one of the major ones. Originally, um, down in Flavora, they were also, but given the strife of what happened down the southern part, uh, things kind of uh, went a little awry. And slowly over time, people have been trying to get back, overcome a lot of the hardships that they have. But well, have you, as you have heard, they're not there yet. 
So wait, your dad founded the Birch Society? Uh, the Birch Trading Company. <laughs> the Birch Trading Company, yeah. It's our last name. Their last name. Yeah. Well, but I mean, it's not exactly a an uncom. I mean, it's not a unique. It's a tree. <laughs> it's okay. You're good. Don't worry. But yeah, that's my dad's company. That's that must have been. You must have heard so many stories. <laughs> not a whole lot. He wasn't home a whole lot because he's always. Well, but like, what about the people who worked with him and stuff? Like, didn't you? Get oh to... yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, um, Google Drive, Google Drive, Google Drive, uh, <laughs> no, um, no, it was really cool, yeah, the people who work with him, I've seen them way more than my actual dad sometimes, which kind of sucks, but you know what happens, so like, um, hold on, let me pull it up, <laughs> not pull it up, and you guys know what I mean, there's, um, <laughs> no, what are so, you like, talking there's, about, <laughs> I don't know, you know, sometimes your brain just like stops it's working and then it's almost like. like... <laughs> so yeah, so there's like there's Core and he's he's the right hand man of the company and um, he would he would bring me letters and gifts when my dad's out at sea and he's super cool and like I think he he's kind of like a brother that I never had because he's cool, um, or like a, more like an uncle, not like a brother. Yeah, notes. <laughs> And then, and then, and then, and then, and then, and then there's Willow. Um, but I was, I only knew her when she was, yo when I was younger, because she, she works in Zellium in Delvana, Vanta. Delvanta, yeah. Um, Janelle, yeah. can I have you roll me a d20, please? Yep. The chest, is it the chest radar? The chest radar is going off. It's a three. <laughs> Actually, this is perfect. I oh love no. it when the dice go the way I want them. Oh, no. As you're going and talking about this, you suddenly feel a sharp pain. And you hear a snap and a serious, like, best way I can explain it, the sound of almost like ice cracking just, just before to, it fully breaks. Just to and Janella, or is that like just, audible? No, this is just to okay. her. Um, and you get an bad, intense pain. Bad. Bad. <laughs> and immediately your hand goes to your heart. You all see her kind of go here absolutely pale. Her hand goes to her heart. And you watch as she starts to pass out. Can I roll the like catch her or something? Like yeah, a reflex? Yeah. Can I get the help action? Yeah. Both of you are standing right next to her. You can try to catch her. What do, what do I She given that she is light, I would say acrobatics for this. It's either you, you want to whichever better is acrobatics, or you can do a reflex save given this is a reactionary um, event, really. A, is that a deck save? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So okay. it's either you want to do whichever is better. They're, they're both. They're both fine. Uh, 11. Okay. Um, did you do it with um, advantage. advantage? Oh, no, I didn't. My bad. Uh, oh, that's much better. Um, 14 on the reflex save. Okay. Uh, given that you are also helping Novell, I would say you guys are able to catch her before she uh, falls. And um, you notice that a little bit of blood is starting to come down her nose. And that is where we're going to end tonight. Oh, great. <laughs> that's always great to end when my character is passing out. As I said, the dice just gave ah, me the perfect okay. time to give it uh, the cliffhanger for tonight's uh, there you chapter. Go. We love a little drama with our warlocks, what do we mm. mean? I know. Hey, at least this time it's not Roshti having the um, cliffhanger. 
true. When you guys give it to me, I'm going to use your reactions and all that. I will not lie. I give you guys consequences for your actions, yes. So anyways, that is the end for chapter 7. Chapter 8 will be next week where mm -hmm. we will find out what happens. What's going to occur? Will they actually find what they're looking for? Most likely. If the dice say yes. Anyways, um, so I hope to see you all next week. Um, I'm in Sing Kitty 32 as I've been on almost everything on Twitter. Pretty much you can find me. That's my name. Uh, I'm your lovely GM for tonight. I would also have gone and said, oh, go check out my Etsy. But given what Etsy has been doing, I closed my shop. So stay tuned. I'm going to be looking for a new place to sell my stuff. So, okay. So next up, I would say is Rafiki. Hi, I'm Frank, aka okay, Rafiki. I'm a co founder of this channel. I also do music under Raven's Color Production, exclamation mark Raven in chat for that stuff. Uh, if you want to support the music that I do for some reason and you find that you like it, uh, you can buy my EP via Bandcamp. I would appreciate it. Uh, other than that, uh, I will be back here Tuesday as I will be running uh, one shot for the Expanse RPG with a uh, wonderful cast of people. So that's going to be super fun as well. But yeah, that's all for me. Uh, hi, I'm Fair. Um, you can follow me on Twitter at FairBear. Uh, tomorrow night, you can find me over on Chaotic Tiefling ATL, uh, 8 p.m. Eastern, for Thirsty Sword Lesbians. Saturday, you could find me over on Rolling D's 20s, 9 p.m. Eastern, for uh, Philly by Night, our Vampire the Masquerade campaign. And um, I have some other stuff that's coming out soon. Uh, I don't know if it's been and my next thing has been announced yet so i won't say it but just follow me on twitter keep an eye on that and that's where you'll know what i'm doing when i'm doing it mm -hmm. trieste you're up so but i'm trieste uh also known as blaze of gloriosa uh where i will eventually stream again uh but also you can catch me on d4 rpg um which is the new home of uh, Utharian Legends. Um, so that's going to be premiering season two on Sunday at, uh, oh gosh, I'm blanking on the time. <laughs> I think it's 9 a.m. Uh, Pacific time. Yeah, so it's going to be actually 9 a.m. Pacific time, um, noon Eastern. Um, so we'll be coming back. Uh, hurry! And then follow me on Twitter for more news, whatever else I'm doing. So that's it. I hear last but not least, uh, Richie, you're up. Hello, this is Richie. Um, I play Janella. Um, you can find me on Twitter at witchy 981 I finally have my Twitter right in my brain. Great. Um, <laughs> I also do a podcast called Good Morning Thetis. Um, we have been doing really bad on the recording front though we haven't released anything since january but that gives you time to catch up so um hopefully <laughs> we'll be posting again soon um i have some other stuff coming up that i cannot announce yet but i'm very excited when i can so stay tuned on my twitter mm -hmm. okay and to our two lovely cast members who are mm -hmm. not here tonight we hope you are going to feel better um and ready for next game most likely they will be yes we missed them yeah you could follow juice on yep. twitter at the juice tm yep. uh twitch at uh, the same username and uh juice also is a cast member for philly by night on saturday so check them out there and kelly we all know that's yeah. the opera geek love her very oh, much yeah. mm -hmm. um follow her on twitch and twitter yeah because, mm -hmm. well, if you like rent to see adorable puppy. Oh, yeah, definitely. And it's the opera group on all of those yep. as well. So, yeah. So, anyways, uh, we will see you next week. For most likely, it's going to be our second to last episode of book oh, one. Have a good night. Are we going to have a book two? 
We shall see. Night, everybody. Night.